Welcome to Gaming News. Yes, it's a fourth-rate YouTube show that tells you all about the things you couldn't know if you didn't go all too long and didn't read on IGN and one up in Game Informer, which is perfectly fine with me. I accept you with all your flaws, children of the internet. Except for you PS3 users. Nah, I'm kidding. I accept you too with your many, 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 many flaws. Exciting news this week, Skyrim's Dawn Guard DLC was released yesterday on Xbox for 1600 Microsoft points or 20 bucks. No release date has been given for PC or PS3 though, so sorry PC. Less exciting for your hard drive at least, Mass Effect 3 got their extended cut DLC yesterday for Xbox 360 as well as for PC. PS3 meanwhile won't get this DLC until July 4th. Bioware is really stressing that this is not going to change the ending. The ending is still exactly the same. This is just going to use a bunch of cutscenes and dialogue options for people to be able to understand the ending and for what they meant for the ending to be taken as, to be taken as that. Considering the fact that it's supposed to be mostly dialogue and cutscenes, this DLC takes up a massive 1.9 gigabytes. But, you know, hey, it's free, so just take it. I love free stuff, and there's a game on Xbox 360 that's free for US gamers. It's called Haunt, and it's a Kinect game about, well, the haunted house. It's usually 10 bucks, but until July 2nd, it's free through the Kinect Central tab on the dashboard. It's supposedly not a bad game, so you should go check it out. And a bonus, Tim Schafer of Double Fine does a main character's voice. A lot of stuff was released yesterday, starting with The Amazing Spider-Man, which I've said before looks amazing. Apparently, there's movie spoilers in the game though, so if you really want to see the movie, you should probably wait until after you do that before you start playing the game. Spec Ops The Line also got released, and a lot of you guys have already heard about this game, but for those of you who haven't, it's a third person shooter with the goal of giving the player tough moral decisions. Dead Island Game of the Year Edition was released yesterday for 30 bucks, and it comes with all the current DLC, and Ghost Recon Future Soldier got released on PC finally. And lastly, PS3 got a firmware update yesterday. 4.20 is going to continue work with wireless headsets, allowing you to set the time the system waits to turn off, which I'm going to stop right there for a second. You couldn't set the time your system waited before it turned off before? Really? Jesus, when I hear that kind of stuff, like, I honestly feel bad for your PS3 people. Like, seriously, I do. What? It's just... God, I don't understand... The other thing that's getting changed is that you can bundle saves so you don't have to delete every save for a game separately. Come on. No way. No, you're screwing with me, right? That's that's part of this update, like, 2012. This is, really? <laughs> oh my god, Jesus Christ. Today, June 27th, The Walking Dead Episode 2 is available on Xbox Live for 400 Microsoft points, aka 5 bucks. PC and PS3 are going to see it on Friday for the same price. If you're in Europe and on a PS3, however, Episode 2 has been lost in a dark wormhole of sometime soon, and no one knows when you're going to see it. Sorry. Far Cry 3 got delayed until December. We were supposed to see it in September, but now the UK is going to be getting it on November 29th, and the US is going to be getting it on December 4th. Yeah, I know, I can not remember the last time the UK got a game before the US, but whatever. Cine Amora, a shoot 'em up game that was exclusive to Xbox until E3, is now coming to PS3, not just PS Vita, though no date has been given. Valve revealed this week that a new mode is heading to Team Fortress 2. The mode is called Doomsday, and it pits blue and red against each other once again, with the goal being to try and deliver a suitcase nuke to a monkey astronaut named Poopy Joe. And you're also going to be fighting over the fuel to put in that rocket, so that way Poopy Joe can go up into space and fight the Russian monkey astronaut named Vladimir Bananas. So it sounds like, you know, normal Team Fortress 2 stuff. Professor Layton and the Miracle Mask has been announced for 3DS, and it's going to be released this November. The best part? A new puzzle will be available every single day for free download. That's awesome. Like... Ah, that's so cool! Every single day for an entire year, free DLC will be available for this game, and you'll be able to download it and play it and love it, and it will be amazing. Assassin's Creed Utopia is a new game that's going to be released on iOS and Android, and even though it's not a tie-in with Assassin's Creed 3, it does take place just before it, so the narrative is very similar and it's still going to be set in colonial times. Unfortunately, there's still no release date for Assassin's Creed Utopia. 
Quantum Conundrum is coming to PS3 and Xbox 360 soon. US PS3 users will see the game on July 10th, while Xbox and international console gamers will get it the next day, July 11th. No price has been set, but Steam has the game for 15 bucks right now, so I'm going to take a crazy leap and say that the game is going to be 15 bucks or 1,200 Microsoft points. And that's all the news I have for you guys this week, since, you know, post-E3 is still kind of going on with news stuff, so there's not really much, but there's probably going to be a lot of release information coming out in the next coming weeks, because a lot of arcade games are coming out, which is awesome. I love arcade games. If you guys love arcade games, this is this is a great arcade summer. And I know that's kind of like Microsoft's thing right now, but PS3 and Nintendo are also getting like arcade -y type games too. So it's just it's a great time to have mini games. And yeah, that's all I have for you guys. So I guess I'll see you guys next week.